Well, now we will start with the new chapter today, the one of the important chapters of Sushruta, that's Yantra Vidhi Madhyaya Vyakshasya Maha. Yantra Vidhi. Yantra word is often translated in English as a machine. But when we say Yantra in uh, uh, Sushruta, it has a meaning beyond that what we call as a the machine as such. The, according to Sushruta, Yantra the number of yantras are yantra shatam ekottaram 101 yantras are mentioned now this number is not a very rigid number it's just an arbitrary number considering the instruments which are necessary for a routine surgical practice there are many of the other instruments which are mentioned in the samhita in many other context uh, according to vaghata the number of uh, uh, yeah, yantras are a bit more than that. They, they are innumerable. As per the Bhagavata, Ashtanga Sangraha, Asat Karma Shartesham Yatta Avadharam Ashakya. Innumerable number of yantras could be found as such. Now, anyway, that's one of the issues. And the definition of yantras are the Manashri Rabadakarani Shalyani, Tesham Aharno Payova Yantrani. The anything which hurts either the mind or the body or the sharia and the techniques which can be used for removal of them or relieving the person from the suffering of the sharia could be yantras. So it's not only the machine, it could be any instrument which could be or any other factor which could be used to remove both the sharia or anything which hurts either the body or the mind. Now this is a very important issue. The bheshada, the medicines which we use, also are considered as upayanta. The uh, psychological factors, counseling or maybe the worship, etc., also are considered as a yantra. So that part we will come to that later. So translating yantra as a machine is not really correct. Instead, I would be translating yantra as a, a tool to regain the health. You say tool to regain the health could be a better. Uh, definition. Of course, Vagbata has given a more detailed description or definition of the yantra. Nana dhanam shalyanam, nana desha prabhajanam, ahatum abhipayova, yastad yantram echa dashane, asho bhavendra dhinam shastrakshara niyodhine, sheshanga parirakshayam tatha vasthyani dharmani. So, Vagbata has given a more detailed definition. I think there is nothing new in it. It says all these are included in what Susura has said. But there is somewhat more practically useful detail. The one is it's a shalya nirharana, the technique which is used for shalya nirharana. Yantra also is used for the diagnosis of a disease, darshane, or visible visibility or making a lesion visible. Or it could be also for protection or of the surrounding area during the surgery or minimizing the collateral injury. Sheshanga Pariraksha is minimizing the collateral injury. As well as the instrument which could be used for a specific procedure like Bastiari Karmani. These are the uh, definitions of the yantras. Atra hastami of Pradhanatamu Mintranam Avacha Kim Karnam Yasmat Hasta Dude Yantranam Aprurti Reva Pazadina Vadu Yantra Karmanam. Now, <coughs> though there are 101 yantras mentioned, it's not the all the hasta, hasta in the sense, it's not the hand which is the important thing. It's the human being who is behind the instrument, who is more important and more commanding than the real instrument. Now, this is a very important fact and very pure scientific fact. The scientific fact is, if you consider the weight of your brain and uh, maybe the total function of your brain to that of a supercomputer. Now, suppose you have comparison, this is again not my version, it's from the version of a, a specific uh, education site, the, if you compare the weight of the brain, which is 1.4 kg, compared to that of a supercomputer, which would be 150 tons, and the space of the brain would be just about one sixth of a basketball, that's about 80 cubic inches, whereas uh, the supercomputer would occupy almost a basketball court area. That's cabinets over 400, uh, 400 square meter area. But operation speed, if you consider, the brain has an operation speed of 
more than 1 lakh trillion operations per second, whereas a, a supercomputer with so much of a range can have only 93,000 trillion, much lesser than that. The energy efficiency, the capacity or uh, utilization of the energy in case of brain is just 20 watts, whereas it's 10 million watts. Now, that's, that's simple, very, uh, very simple issue. Uh, human being is the main controller and the instrument, whatever the technology, cannot just command on the human being and it's the human being who commands the technology. This should be the idea and it's not only my version or maybe even very famous scientists like uh, Albert Einstein has also said, if the technology surpasses the human interaction, then the world will have a generation of idiots. This is exactly what's going to happen now, which is happening now. And there is a need for review of this kind of an approach where the machine is commanding the human being. The, it should be in the other way. The human being should command the machine. So this is a big diversion, but I think that's also an important issue. So <coughs> coming back to the entrance. And Chat Prakaran, Pradesha, Swastika Yantrani, Sandamsha Yantrani, Tala Yantrani, Nani Yantrani, Shraka Yantrani, Upa Yantrani, Jethi. The instruments are again further classified into six categories. We will go into each of the categories. Tata Chitra Vimshati Swastika Yantrani, Vir Sandamsha Yantre, Vir Tala Yantre, Vimshati Nadiha, Asta Vimshati Shraka, Panchi Vimshati Upa Yantrani. These are the numbers which are mentioned by Shushula. Again, repeat the same. When we say Chaturvamsha 24 Swastikendra, that doesn't mean it's only the 24 instruments are mentioned, but it means a minimum of 24 instruments should be there in a surgeon's kit to go <coughs> uh, have a such regular practice, considering the incidence of the diseases during those days and variety of the procedures a surgeon would be doing. So, depending upon that number of instruments could be lesser or more. Now, further, the instruments again are categorized into two categories, Yantra and the Shastra. Shastra will be dealing with the next chapter. So, roughly, Yantras are the blunt instruments in general, with exceptions other way, whereas Shastras are the sharp instruments. Now, this number, like 24 or 2 or so on, this number is just an arbitrary number, which is suggestive of a num minimum number which is required in a surgeon's kit, to have a practice considering the situations of that day, Sushudas so period, where it depends upon the variety of patients whom you see and the number of patients whom you see. This number can be changed in the present day situation, again based upon the same factors like the scope of the surgeries done by a particular surgeon and the variety of the patients whom you see. Now, in general, majority of the instruments, they are prepared out of metal, Tani, Prayasho, Lohan, Bhavati. The priority would be always to have a metallic instrument in majority of these situations, not all, again. This is about the general uh, statement. You can have the exception and when you say Tani Prasha Lohani Bhavan, the metallic in sense, the <coughs> hush of the pleasure which is considered as a, a instrument to remove the Dukha Shari, it cannot be metallic. So when I say metallic, it's about the general statement. Uh, the uh, gross statement and if the metals are not available then it could be any other replacement alternative materials. Now to define device the uh, instruments, in Sushuta's period the uh, responsibility of devising an instrument for a practice would be depending upon the surgeon himself. So surgeon himself had to devise the, devise the instrument and had to get the instruments prepared. He didn't have a ready market she didn't have a bureau of standards as we have now. The present day surgery, surgical practice, we have, we have a convenience of a ready-made market of the instruments which are available, which Sushita didn't have. And the stimulus for devising these instruments would be Tatra, Nana Prakaranam, Yalanam, Mukabakshiram, Mukhi, Mukhan, Yantranam, Prashat, Sadashani, Tasmad. The instruments would be devised based upon what we see in the nature, the stimulus which you see in the nature, like looking at the grass of either animals or birds. Animals in general would have a relatively shorter neck 
and a stronger grip whereas the birds in general would have a longer beak and they would they can reach into a crevice a true narrow area but their grip would be lesser so this way depending upon the requirement of the type of grip and the axis the instruments could be devised based upon a resemblance to either the animal or a bird now when we say animal and a bird is not that the instruments are decorated like an animal and a bird many of the textbooks which are published otherwise they would have a instrument which would have all that the special eyes ears of an animal but that's not the idea the idea is based upon the basic mechanics of that now once uh, the suppose you either you have to devise an instrument based upon the structure of the animal's resemblance or other matter based upon the textual reference some of the instruments and their details are discuss discussed in the text and based upon that you may have to devise instruments of your own or upadesha as taught by the teacher or any other person by looking at the instruments used by others you may devise the instrument or social gives you the freedom of devising your own instrument based upon your requirement and your experience yukti dashta karya the samahitani yantrani khara shrakshan kanja sudrani supani suprahan cha karya the the in general the instruments have to be prepared well and they have to be kept ready and the instruments could be of different degree, uh, varieties like either some of the instruments which may hold harsh uh, firmly or some may hold smoothly like Elvis forceps and uh, the uh, uh, yeah backox forceps Elvis forceps hold the tissue with the biting and backox forceps hold the tissue without biting so khara shrakshan mukhanjas so on we'll have more detail about these issues in due course of time as we go further into the discussion and the instrument should be sudradhani should be strong enough to achieve that target of the purpose so when they should look somewhat reasonably good that doesn't mean that instrument should look extraordinarily cosmetic it's about just having a proper look as it uh, should not produce a odd look as it sudradhani it should be able to uh, handle the instrument easily handle as it these are the basic necessities of an instrument now the same issue which you have discussed like the mruga and the pakshi mruga a uh, animal would have a great in shorter neck so uh, and it may have a better grip so it can reach to it may not be able to reach to a crevice it's from the panchatantra story a uh, dispute between a fox and the crane uh, and the story you know about it now a crane like in a bird like in uh, instrument can go into the depth as a comparison of a object from the nose to be removed you have to introduce a nasal forceps and that nasal forceps should be thin and should be curved and it has a resemblance to that of a bird so it's one of the pakshi mukha and you may name it as any way whereas an instrument which is used for removing the tooth it should have a shorter neck grip and the axis of course is relatively easier and it's the strength of the instrument which is important and that could be a mudamukha asset